Kikas! Name's Fen playing some cruise of the Skull Globet. See, there's our cruise ship right there. And here's the bar into which we pile... I almost said into which we pile in. That would be bad. There's a baby cradle in a bar. It all makes perfect sense. Uh, unwanted children could happen in bars because these people do not know how to make cod. All right, but seriously, but seriously, but seriously, there's some dudes hanging around outside here, possibly walking, step walking, step walking around on chairs. Home. Oh. <laughs> when I know I'm going to be tired doing an episode, I make extra sure to completely overcompensate with wacky to- Oh, hang on. Th that is- that is- that is my phone. Holy crap. Excuse me. Well, that certainly was a mayoral candidate mission. Hey guys, name's Fem back again with the same old pen. Boy, these guys sure do go, uh, 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 a lot. You'd almost think that they were hairy beasts. Anyways, let's continue on. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, phone calls, they're amazing, and now the edge has been taken off my commentary, I guess, hey. Hey guys, name's friend. Blame name's, name's friend, name's friend, that's because I've been crossbred with a wren. Or with wren from, uh, the Silence of the Lambs mission, Silence mission in Thief 3, whatever. Uh, I don't know why I'm in here, possibly some loot, but th there's really no loot goal in this mission, so there can be really no reward for anything. How dis- How dis- Disgusting, get just so too much stuff on my desk, like, oh my god, gals, just move it. So, yeah, these locks, they're difficult, but they lead to no rewards. Two deer legs, really. I'd rather have these emerald apples, and these non-emerald, but nevertheless very nice, beautiful, gold shaded bread. <laughs> Is there really any reason for- oh, yeah. Okay, 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 I'm a sneaky good thief, I'm a good thief, I'm a good player, which watch me play good. For some reason, there's an invisible crate. Oh, oh yeah, Davidson's key, I guess that's Davidson. And, I guess that's that. I probably won't bother going in there any further. Yeah, seriously, I'm like walking on air over here. Is that not? But you guys saw me! So what am I meant to do here, after all? I need the goblet still. Find it and leave the island. Find Davidson's thing, which probably says exactly what and where in a readable. But, you know, I don't know, man. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I've forgotten and I will never remember again. Hey, this is the grocery store. I guess the pub and the grocery store are right next to each other. How convenient. Hey, is Davidson's key opening Davidson's groceries? Not suspicious at all. Davidson's nice, healthful food that will not poison you so we can pirate your goods. Such as Photoshop and Illustrator. A book, eh? That sounds pretty valuable. Hey, does Davidson use the same password for all his bank accounts? No, he doesn't. He's a good man, but fortunately he uses a weak password that is just the word password12345 luggage. I think that any cracker program could break that immediately. Foghorn. Oh, that's the mystical foghorn, which doesn't count as anything special for some reason. I got them all, and now I'm the winner. After my business with Dockside Shipping and my possible accent change, and those foolish spice merchants, I'll be even more rich by dealing with these legendary pirates. And the funniest thing is that nobody will know it. I win on all counts. I just have to wait for my meeting with this captain. I don't know how long I'll have to wait, but I think it's a good deal. I would prefer to be in a fancy hotel on a tropical island, but being a guest on a creepy island and getting off it alive could be pretty interesting. I said I won, but I've got another problem to solve. The fog boat disappeared right under our feet just when we reached the port. They are pagans and want our blood, but business is business, so I'll get my payment, although I may only leave this place if the woodsy lord wants me to. And that's why they did this. That damned horn only works on top of the old light- <gasps> Oh! How am I supposed to get up there? I may take a close look at the cliffs and see where I can climb, but that will be after I receive the payment. For the moment, I'll have a drink and spend a little time in the pub. Always the foolish thing for a pirate to do. Well, hey, I like how the objective didn't pop up like, Hey, do this thing. It, you know, lets me use my head noggin a bit. That's kind of nice. But before that, I'll go up this rope as practice for rope climbing. You know, because you got to practice. It's not a trivial art rope climbing. I mean, God, you got to belaying and flaying and hating the game and the playing. <laughs> Please cast me. <laughs> it's a nice custom voice. What, 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 uh, I'm on the roof. I'm the king of the castle. And you are a freaking 
bastard shithead. Um... <laughs> okay, well, Davidson's thing is probably directly connected with the Foghorn or something. Wait a minute, though. Find it and leave this island. The Skull Goblet. The Goblet! I still have to get the Goblet! What? Oh, God. There must be something secret up here somewhere. Okay, okay. Well, it's not exactly on the roofs, but it's under the roofs. And underground people are the funniest magicians. I'm not talking about underground smugglers or evil criminals, I'm talking about people who literally just live underground. How come you didn't realize I was saying that? There's the time. Why didn't you realize? Well, I've got enough vines. Apparently there's a forest. I don't know if it was talking about that underground forest. Probably, but I really hope the goblet isn't down. I need to poison the source of their well or something. The source of their water. Where's that? <clears throat> so much to do. God, you guys, just shut up. Okay, well, this seems like a small miniature forest. Miniature golf golf could be easily played up in this place. Hey. Something is being severely missed by myself. This goddamn godlet keeps moving. Okay. Blow that foghorn. I guess it only works when I actually need to leave the mission, huh? <laughs> 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 Apparently... <laughs> now, I'm perfectly willing to accept that it may have said that in a readable somewhere that I just forgot, because I do that a lot, but still... Kind of pretty arbitrary. Apparently, this is the key to all... my problems. So, if I want more problems, I can just start up the car of problems. That's a pinball sound, not a car starting sound. And I will have even more. Whoa! Uh-oh, I'm too late. Fools, you have died in the name of progress. Idiots. Fools, you have died, morons. Well then, that is not good. Oh crap, I'm trapped here. Oh. Well, this looks suspicious like Half-Life 1. Oh. Guess well, you have every right to laugh, strangely human-faced man. I'll put Reginald out of action if you manage to escape. Well, apparently, there is, uh... Ooh. Apparently there is this place here where, if I can scroll through my inventory in the best fashion ever, I could just put the holy one here. No, I guess not. I have to go further into the spring to poison it properly. Only, uh, I can't... Whoa. Hey, not fair, summoning beasties. Oh, I guess I gotta walk all the way around because it's just gonna make me do that. Few too many maze hallways, I think, is the only downside of this mission. Other than that, it's bang up fantastic. But yeah, these, not a fan of them, just... Well, you already know that. I mean, it's just no skill. You just walk around and take a guess. Oh, but I guess I ended up here. Whoa. Dude, uh, what the hell? That is amazing looking. Holy crap. Okay, seriously. <laughs> ah, finally. Okay, seriously, how am I even supposed to drop this? By trying over and over, I suppose. Okay. I'm too excited. I got nothing to say. Oh, yeah. Dumbass. No one taps with Garrett! <laughs> Oh yeah. Now where's the sodding goblet? Where? Ah, uh, that's it? Just a little... Well, it's only gonna bring bad luck. But, uh, you know. Sure. Let's go to the fog tower and catch us a chicken! By blowing the fog horn, the chickens all come like bop, 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 and then they will peck at the baby goats until the baby goats kick and buck them down the apple tree lane. And uh oh, we're not finished yet, I guess, then, or something. That's not good. Uh oh, Lady What's Her Face is still. Oh, 
What was that? Whoa! Okay, seriously, I guess I gotta take the other way. Maybe. Or maybe I can't even, hey? Your vines have no power here, do they? No, sir. No, ma'am, they don't. This is the worst commentary ever! Okay, but seriously. Wait a minute, I can't get back up there. Wait a minute, how did I do that before? There was a wood piece? Oh, I did it like this. Sneakily. <laughs> maybe, maybe you're not even supposed to get up here. Maybe that was a small oversight or something. Maybe you're only supposed to get from this way down into there or something. I don't know. It's, it seems odd, but a lot of things seem odd. That does not necessarily mean that they are. They should be accepted for being odd, which they are. But what? Words! Whoa. It's happening over here too, I guess? No. Maybe that's just in the sub- Man, this tile up here, there's gotta be some crazy trap to- Whoa. What is going on with that guy? Not everyone is dead already? Whoa. Okay, seriously, I'm speechless. This is one spooky-looking weirdo. What are you? Hobbling around? Holy crap. That is one weird dance. Whoa. Is that you, shaman? Fallen from grace into an old rotten form? God. Well, you know what to do now. That's right. Run like the wind! Because the wind is powerful. It can blow you off your feet and spin you around and round and round and round and round until you fall up into the sky and slam down onto the ground and end up in the news with a very straight-faced woman with oddly done-up hair talking about how tragic it is while flipping her head side to side. Fortunately, none of that has to happen because I am out here. I expect some final bit of resistance before I leave, such as it being extremely difficult to get on this ladder. You know. No, but I mean seriously. Oh, hey, there's a big muscly beast. No, but I mean seriously. Thank you. Well, reskin tree beasts are, I suppose, some sort of challenge yawn. Oh, hey. You, uh, you actually look kind of like that demon beast from ye old spooky house town mission town. Uh, but really, I don't have to fear you guys at all. Whoa. Because I don't. I can just outrun you forever because I'm refusing to take this engine seriously, I guess. I don't think I have done so badly at that so far, so now I take a break and do it. But yeah, because I just dump, dump right into the jotter and climb the flower so that I can meet Daisy Head Maisie and uh, get us married while we both dive into the water and accidentally splat on the ground. It would be the most tragic thing since Leslie Nielsen portrayed a tragic thing. And the tragic thing is on all tragic things. So if you buy an Oreo cracker, you can look at them go all the way up the town flying on food. Kids. Would we lie to you? No! Hey, buddy, remember that? The Nabisco thing? I didn't even know that there was a character who was called the Nabisco thing. I just thought they were being weird and saying Nabisco things are Nabisco things because the 90s are bizarre. And believe me, the 90s were pretty freaking weird when it came to commercials. Thank you for that. It's cool that this thing is like so hard to get onto steadily. Well, I did it there because it gives the impression of, you know, you just barely grabbing on and hanging on and swinging when really none of those things are happening. So they're not swinging. Garrett does not swing from any vine's vine. I think vine is not innuendo at all, but hey, whatever. It's about time to end this because I'm just rambling in a non-entertaining fashion now as opposed to an entertaining fashion. Did I mention spiral staircases are the worst thing and the bane of everything? <laughs> oh, I automatically blow the horn, do I? Oh. Well, nice. And I just teleport away. As if nothing was the matter. That was amazing. Whoa. <laughs> One secret that I missed. That's disappointing, but I'm going to leave that to you guys. You guys should play this and you can have more jaunty tunage. But as for now, I'll uh, see you guys next time and uh, goodbye for now. Whoops.